Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we explored around this desert a little bit on the way to the Caspian One communication base. Fit up a couple question marks around here. We have a vehicle, although I'm not using it at the moment, so I can, you know, more easily explore around and find every little bit of loot. Let's keep exploring. There's one thing I did want to do. I think I have some new attachments for this new sniper gun that I forgot the name of. What are you? Valve. Yeah, we got a couple things, so... Assault stock grip and forend. That looks really cool. Oh, does that have a... <laughs> it has like a... Like a pipe... Uh, handle thing. Like what you'd use to turn on and off. Maybe a, a hose. Handmade light stock. Slightly reduces recoil. Yeah, it just very, very, very slightly increases stability. And oh, we can have a magazine for this thing. That'd be that'd be great. Without that, it just holds literally one round. Single so column magazine holding five rounds of ammunition. A straight pull bolt allows the shooter to chamber around and fire it all the while observing the target through the scope. Also, it looks like we did. I see something new for this. I thought there was like a you have a new attachment thing. Oh. The infrared laser, probably. I mean, sure. Doesn't hurt to put that on. Wait, why do I have the rotor magazine on and not the horizontal one? This one's better. Like vision scope and all that good stuff. We're good. It's turning nighttime, by the way. If you're wondering what direction the daytime's going in. Just a tiny bit of light left. Might be a good time for night vision, actually. Almost. Not just yet. Don't break my legs! Wow! Is this okay? Alright. <laughs> really brittle bones. Okay. Where do I want to go next? Like, should I start to make my way towards where I'm supposed to go for the main quest? Or should I just completely forget it? Let's completely forget it. There's like a geyser thing down here. Let's go check it out. Oh, uh, I should make more steel balls. I'm not doing great on materials, though. Eh, still, it's worth it. I mean, what are materials for if not for making ammo? Try night vision. <laughs> Does make it harder to see stuff. <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. The hell? Was that the geyser? What the hell? I don't think these are the sorts of geysers I thought they were. I don't know what those are. Is it like uh, oil wells that aren't capped? So they're just hemorrhaging the oil? If that was so, though, I don't think there'd be any water there. You wouldn't see it, right? Wouldn't all the oil be on the top? It still looks like water. Yeah, I think this one over here is the one I was looking at, but I'm sure they're all the same. I don't think I want to go near it. <laughs> if it's just gonna randomly go up in flames.
Someone got a little hidey hole. Definitely looks all nasty here on the shore. Ooh, it's about to go. That is so cool. Man, I love the sparks. Oh, hello. The, uh... Mm, what were they called? They're not the Watchers, the... Shit, I, I forgot what they're called. Ooh! Didn't mean to shoot. They know I'm here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they ganged up on me real good. Is there an effective way to take them out without just... I guess if I get them to go in a group and then just throw like a Molotov on them, that'd be pretty good. Because that area is a question mark, so I really want to explore it. I don't want to just avoid it. Uh, oh, fuck, I don't have a Molotov. Well, shit. Silently knife him? Oh, they're sleeping. Well, some are. I threw a knife at you. Damn. Okay, let's try again, but let's take a med kit. I'm super low on health. Let's make two. These things are so cool. I've seen the holes in the ground, but never these things built up. Did they make these too? They probably know I'm here, right? Ugh, flies. I think I got him. Most of them? I hear one sleeping. Deep sleeper. It really goes deep. I'm putting my gas mask on, just because I don't want these flies in my face.
There's that done. Now, do I want to keep going on the road, or do I want to maybe go east? Um, let's keep going on the road, actually. I will meander my way towards the lighthouse, after all. I thought I heard both of those with the zombie things and those little things. They're fighting each other. Well, good for me. Looks like there's a little cubby behind there. So cool, just like crawling through somebody's makeshift little home. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> Hello, my dusty friend. Can I throw a knife at you from here? That should be good. little watching post here. <laughs> Something so cool about making a makeshift home inside of a rusting carcass of a boat. Or ship, rather. Oh, can't see shit. No question mark on the other side of the road. Like, this way, but I want to see if there's anything over here. Ooh. I just noticed something. Look at the night vision thing over our eyes on, like, the top left and top right. You can see fingerprints. Smudged fingerprints. It's really cool. Oh, hey. I'm hearing a noise. Not the noise of that thing, but a click. Oh, I think. 
Hmm. I'm not sure if that's a place I've already been or not. New. Yeah. Moon's coming out. Ah, oh, the desert looks so different at night. So what got marked on my map? Well, the question mark is still there, so I guess it is unexplored. But I mean, that's right in the area where I dealt with that person who's driving the car. Explore these boats. if I can get up there on that little shelf. Oh, hey! There's a demon nest there, too. Ooh, actually you can from over here on the other side. blocked, isn't it? I wonder if there'd be, like, food droppings from the nest? You know, loot or something? Ooh. Yeah, it's not happening. Alright, let's keep going north. I'm always just really curious, like, is there something behind this rock? I'm always curious what's at the edges of the map. And I kind of didn't get a chance to explore that in Volga, so I want to do it here. Good spot to use my binoculars, actually.
Well, I just marked about a million things. Oh, beautiful. I love seeing the icons appear. Okay, we got one right in front of us. Maybe that is oil. Because this actually doesn't look like water, it just looks like oil. But why would it be randomly catching on fire? Oh! That's a demon. Or... Wait. Is that...? It seems awfully small. What is it doing? I think it is a demon. Hey, how do demons and those zombie things get along? They seem to be running, so probably not very well. Jesus. Hey, buddy. Sorry you died in here. Finally a workbench! And somewhere to sleep. The first one I've found out here. Damn. Let's get the lights on. Make it cozy. Oh. There it is. Wait. No. What is... Oh. Oh. Okay, needs a little bit of cleaning up here. monster get past the trap or was the trap put in after the monster <laughs> maybe they were like hmm well how do I make this trap even better just put another trap in there the other trap being the zombie thing Spotted me. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my wife just came home. Uh, where was I? Dying? Not that sure and my cat is on my desk I love you but can you please leave thank you Whew, I'm flustered where where am I right I've got this gun and this, which is good, but maybe a little overkill for that, and I'm out of ammo of this. So I should probably make more. I'm just thinking, should I stop making more ammunition for this and save it for something else? I don't think there's anything else to save it for. Also, disgusting flies. I 
I'm missing a couple knives. This one. Oh, whoa, there's a huge cliff there. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, there's a whole, like, base down there. In a boat, I think. Right. Back to this. Oh, got all my knives back now. Ooh. That is kitted out. Got one new attachment. Clean this place out a bit. There we go. Ooh. It's nice and cozy. Wish I could shut this door. It's kind of totally open to the outside, but... Oh, well. Let's sleep until day. So I see what everything looks like now. <laughs> so different looking. Okay, workbench time. Of course, I can't switch weapons here, but I can at least repair stuff and make everything that I want. Uh, what is this? What's my new thing? Heavy stock. A piece of pipe fashioned into a stock significantly increases weapons stability. Not that I really need that for the T car. It's already incredibly stable. Yeah, that's probably best used on, like, this. Because the stability is so poor. I've had this damn thing way too long. I... <laughs> it's terrible for anything except a huge onslaught of many, many enemies. Hmm. Yeah, so let's give it to this. I should clean this. Man, I feel like I've been gathering, like I've been, I've been so methodical at gathering supplies, and like I'm not rich with supplies. I'm gonna go through a lot of it just cleaning this stuff. I need more med kits. I'll make, I'll make two. Oh, I can make the new type of round. These rifle cartridges, developed before World War One and mass produced during World War Two, are highly sought after by snipers after World War Three. Pretty expensive. But, I mean, they should be one shot, one kill, pretty much. For most enemies. Oh. I can make incendiary T-car rounds. The main component of this T-car bullet is a small glass capsule filled with a flammable substance ignited by contact with air. That is extremely expensive. Wow. 40-40. For 10 of them compared to just 10. I wonder if it does a ton of damage or if it simply catches them on fire. So is like the good part about it just to shoot an enemy once and let it burn? Perhaps? Either way, I'm definitely not making that. That's so expensive. I don't want to make at least one grenade. So predictably this uses more chemicals. The Molotov and the hand grenade uses more metal or whatever. Um, I have more metal right now than chemicals. Let's do a hand grenade. Just one. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I'm going to try to head down to that ship base at the bottom of that canyon. <laughs>